Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God a great big hand clap. Amen. Hallelujah. Now let's give our young people a hand. Amen. Amen. We thank God for what he is doing on this day. Amen. There. There's a special anointing in this place today. Amen. And we started early this morning. Amen. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. We're in overtime, right? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We won the broadcast, and, and, and the Spirit of the Lord came in and used us this morning. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank God for Pastor and Lady Johnson. Come on, Lady Ross, and all our official staff, our members, and certainly to our visitors that are here today. We thank God for you. Amen. Let's give our visitors a hand for coming and sharing with us, amen. And it's just so good to see Pastor Johnson back, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He, he was up and he was flowing and he, he stopped and looked at himself and said, mm, I ain't even studying or nothing. <laughs> Look at God, amen. 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 And, um, you know, the word was, you know, this is what you're getting better at. And that's still the word, amen? amen. This is what you're getting better at. So long as you're back doing what you do, God with you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, I, won't be, I won't be up long, amen. Just give me about 10 minutes. I can have about 10 minutes. Everybody said 15. Well, I, I, I'm just going to. Right. Amen. 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 Let's turn our attention to 2 Samuel, um, the 12th chapter. 2 Samuel 12. Amen. You know, this is the, the ending of our 21 day fast, and we're looking for God to do some things, right? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Second Samuel, the twelfth chapter. And it, it, I'm t real tempted to read from verse one. It's a beautiful story. I love the story. Uh, so I'm gonna read from one. Our key verse is begins at verse thirteen, but I'm gonna read this story. All right. 2 Samuel 12, beginning with the first verse. And the Lord sent Nathan unto David. And he came unto him and said unto him, There were two men in one city, the one rich and the other poor. The rich man had exceeding many flocks and herds. But the poor man had nothing, save one little ewe lamb, which he had bought and nourished up. And it grew up together with him. And with his children, it did eat of his own meat and drank of his own cup and lay in his bosom and was unto him as a daughter. And there came a traveler into unto the rich man, and he spared to take his own flock and of his own herd to dress for the wayfaring man that was come unto him, but took the poor man's lamb and dressed it for the man that was come to him. And David's anger was greatly kindled against the man. And he said to Nathan, As the Lord liveth, the man that have done this thing shall surely die. And he shall restore the lamb fourfold because he did this thing and because he had no pity. Verse 7. And Nathan said to David, Thou art the man. Thus says the Lord God of Israel, I anointed thee king over Israel, and I delivered thee out of the hand of Saul. And I gave thee thy master's house and thy master's wives into thy bosom, and gave thee the house of Israel and of Judah. And if that had been too little, I would moreover have given unto thee such and such things. Wherefore hast thou despised the commandment of the Lord to do evil in his sight? Thou hast killed Uriah the Hittite with the sword, and has taken his wife to be thy wife, and has slain him with the sword of the children of Ammon. Now therefore, 
the sword should never depart from thine house. Because thou hast despised me and hast taken the wife of Uriah the Hittite to be thy wife. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will raise up evil against thee out of thine own house, and I will take thy wives before thine eyes and give them unto thy neighbor, and he shall lie with thy wives in the sight of this son. For thou didst it secretly, but I will do this thing before all Israel and before the son. Verse 13. And David said unto Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. And Nathan said unto David, The Lord also hath put away thy sin, thou shalt not die. Verse 14, How be it? Because by this deed thou hast given great occasion to the enemies of the Lord to blaspheme. The child also that is born unto thee shall surely die. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We thank God for his most holy and divine word. And just for a little while, we want to talk about, we want to talk about side effects. Amen. I believe somebody know about side effects. When David did what he did, if he had known what the side effects would be, he might not have done it. Amen. Every time we we take, a lot of us take medication, some of us take medication. Though. And, and mo on most of our prescriptions, if we read it closely, there are some, shoot. There are some side effects to the medication. Now, sometimes the side effect can be worse than what you're taking the medicine for. Come on now. I remember Pastor, I was going by, went by to see him one time, and he said the doctor had him on some medication that made him weak. Lost his taste, and I'm like, you know. But that was just side effects to the medicine that he took. Amen? We have a week. We, we, we see them on the commercial. We see the, 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 the medication commercials. You know how they had the commercials on and telling you about this different drug. And when they get to the end, they go to talking real low and real fast. <laughs> oh, y'all, come on now. You know, may cause nausea, may cause vomiting, and all this kind of stuff. The side effects. Amen? And we're going to see that uh, some things that we're dealing with in our life side effects to some stuff that we done done before time. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, the Bible teaches us that the wages of sin is what? Death is the side effect. Come on, y'all. Huh? That's some stuff we're dealing with in our life, and it's simply because of something that we've already done. Because we know that God said that he is not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth. Hmm. What, what this area is going through, the poverty and all the things that the Delta is going through, it's a sad effect. The Bible teaches us that when the wicked rule, the people suffer. Huh? See, when we put wicked folk in high places, then we suffer from that. <laughs> Suffering is side effect. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Most of us that uh, drink in our life. <laughs> oh, shut up. Oh, come on now. I know it's more than two or three that <laughs> drunk something before and uh, come on now. See, when you drink the alcohol, when you ingest it, when you get it in, there are some side effects. Shoot. Huh? Hmm. See, they don't tell you that when you drink, you might, you know, get drunk and throw up and 
They have a headache, you know. Huh? Can't function the next day. Yes. Side effect. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Huh? Right. See, if they'd have, if, if they'd have told me what the side effects was for smoking crack, I might not have. Come on, y'all, y'all. Might not have smoked none, but see, I didn't know if you smoke crack, you're going to lose some jobs. And can't get along with your wife. Can't keep no money in your pocket. We're talking about some side effects. It's real stuff. Huh? Hmm. Get drunk and wake up somewhere you didn't know where you was at. Side effects. Huh? And 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 most of the time, when folk lie on you, it ain't it ain't because you know they just picked on you. Most of the time, folk lie on you because somewhere in the past you done lied on somebody too. When folk talking about you, yeah, you done talked about some folk before. So it's just coming back. Huh? Hmm. David here was a good example. That's why I read that story. David, a man after God's own heart. Hmm? The king of Israel did wrong. Huh? But what I like about David is David repented. Huh? Now, even though he repented, Nathan told him, said, the Lord has forgiven you. How be it? You still got to suffer some side effects. Come on now. See, just because you repent and ask the Lord to forgive you don't mean you ain't going to have to suffer some stuff. Huh? See, he still had to have trouble in his house. That's what the word said. He still had to lose the son that was birthed from this mess he did. Come on, y'all. Huh? There still was some side effects to what he did. And we need to understand that when we sin, every time we sin, every time we do that thing that is not right, we got to suffer some side effects. Ain't no way around it. You took it. Huh? This is like taking some medicine and all of a sudden you decide you don't want it. No, too late. It's in you now. Hmm. 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 We went Bible study, and the Lord gave it to me like this. He said, just, if you're on the top of a building and you decide you want to jump off, then on your way down, you change your mind. And you say, Lord, forgive me for jumping off this building. He going to forgive you, but you still finna hit that ground. You still going to feel the effects of when you hit that the ground. <laughs> That's it. That don't mean I ain't got no more. I told y'all, just give me about 10 minutes. But what I want you to understand is that every time situations come up and we start dealing, everybody's dealing with their own stuff. That's one thing I know. Everybody in the church dealing with something. Amen. And when we start dealing with things, we need to start looking back. Seeing what we done took. Seeing what we done did. Who we done wronged. Who we done, come on now. Because just possibly we could be experiencing some side effects. 
Now it's self-examination time. It's time for us to examine ourselves. And if we've done anything wrong, now I ain't going to say if. Because everybody done done some stuff wrong. But if you've done some stuff wrong and you have not repented of it, today is a good day. Amen. Today is a good day to do that. Amen. And here's what I know about the side effects. Eventually they wear off. Come on now. If you don't take that medicine no more, them side effects, they're going to wear off. But if you keep taking that medicine over again, if you take it every three hours, guess what? Them side effects going to keep coming. And you know what? They're going to even get stronger. That sin that you know you've been doing. Better quit. Better quit. Better stop. Now. Not tomorrow. Stop now. So you will no longer have to feel those side effects of can't sleep at night. No peace. Can't keep nothing down on your stomach. That ain't right. Huh? That's some side effects when you, your stomach messed up. Hmm. Hmm. Now, I can't deal with nobody's issues but mine. Don't know nobody know what I've been taking, but come on, I ain't in your medicine cabinet. Don't know nobody know what you've been doing, but now you want to tell somebody that's your business. But everybody in here got something that only know, them and God know about. Now, here's one thing I know, according to the word we just read. David had an opportunity to repent before Nathan came. Oh, See, God always give you space to repent before he bring judgment on you. Oh, shoot. Huh? Nathan came because David time that he was given to repent. He, he went over that. So God had to send his man to show him what he had done. You don't have to do that. You know what you've done. You can repent right now. You ain't even got to get out your seat. It ain't all about coming down to the altar and crying and falling out. You can do it right where you at. Just say, Lord, forgive me for that thing I done. I know I was wrong. I know I shouldn't have done that. Mama told me not to do that. Daddy told me not to do that, but I done it anyway. Lord, forgive me. Hmm. Hmm. That covered the whole house right there. <laughs> covered the whole house right there. And what I love about God is if you confess, he said, I'm faithful and just. I'm going to forgive you. You ain't going to have to die from that, but side effects. Still got to deal with them. You have to deal with the side effects. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come thanking you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to share this word, this, this practical word, to give to your people, Lord, to be used for on this day. 
and each day forward that we will begin to search our lives. Search the things that we say, the things that we do, and make sure that we're doing them according to your word. And Lord, whenever we in error, please show us that we may repent and be forgiven. And Lord, we thank you right now that the sad effects are being curbed. We are not going to do that anymore. And this season of being in error and just going blatantly against your word is over for us. From this day forward, we're going to move into being holy and righteous people. We're going to follow your word. And we'll believe in you for all things. Not some things. We believe in you for all things. In the name of Jesus, we declare it and we decree it to be so. In Jesus' name, amen. Give God a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah.